this question is why you should avoid algebra, avoid algebraic thinking, and always try to prove your answers with real numbers. So it's very easy to do. Let's start with what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to find the y-intercept, which means we know that x is equal to zero. So we can plug points into equations. We're clearly given an equation. We're clearly given a point. Now, we don't know half of the point, right? We're going to get the y-intercept, the y-coordinate from the choices or from uh, just plugging it in and solving. But we are given the x-coordinate because we know what a y-intercept is and because all the answer choices have the same x-coordinate. So there's no debate here. So let's just take the time to plug it in, right? So f of 0 would be negative 8 times 2 to the 0 plus 22. All right, so let's just do some normal PEMDAS, GERMDAS, order of operations stuff here. Negative 8 isn't going to change, but we do exponents first. So 2 to the 0 is 1, right? That's a fundamental property of math. Now we move through and we do multiplication. So negative 8 times 1 is negative 8. And we finish it up with some addition. And so negative 8 plus 22 is the same as 22 minus 8, which is um, 14. So there you go f of 0 is 14, so that is function notation telling us that the point 0, 14 is the y-intercept, and that is choice A. This is easy. There is, this is an, a must-get question, but some of you are going to get it wrong, and the reason is you're going to take a shortcut. You're going to be like, oh, I know algebra. I know what I'm doing, and you're going to look at this equation and make one of two mistakes. Either you are going to look at the end portion here, this plus 22, and you're going to think, oh, yeah, y-intercepts, those are the thing that gets added on, right? We know that in lines, right? If we have uh, y equals mx plus b, or if we have a normal kind of a quadratic equation, we know that the c is the, the y-intercept here, the b would be. So this is a rule. This is a real pattern in math. But it doesn't always hold because equations are quirky and sometimes things don't work out the way you would expect. The reason it works here is that there's no real exponent, right? There's a squared in the in the quadratic, but it doesn't matter because we're going to square a zero. But here the zero doesn't go in the x's on the, the main level, the bases. It's the, the x is the exponent. So this causes problems. So some of you are going to pick choice C because you're going to jump the gun and you're just going to look at that and be like, oh yeah, that's where the y-intercept is. But no, the y-intercept isn't there when we have exponentials. And so some of you are going to think You've outsmarted the question. We're like, oh, no, 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 it's not there because that's, that's an exponential. It behaves differently. The y-intercept is actually the thing that comes before the exponential term. So it's negative 8. So you're going to pick choice D. And that also is another thing in math that is totally real. But that really works when we have a more simple exponent uh, exponential where it's something like, I don't know, um, let's just do 16 times uh, 1.03 to the x or t, right, where it's it. there's only really the exponential piece, but this, this question did something weird. It added on the 22, and so there's two things going on at once, and what A, choice A, does is it takes into account both of those things, but it doesn't do it through some sort of intellectual exercise. We just did some math. We did some normal arithmetic, and we let the answer just come out of the question. That is the benefit of plug points into equations. That is the benefit of avoiding algebra is you're also avoiding these trap answers that are deliberately put there to distract you and to make you make mistakes and to encourage you to take shortcuts when you shouldn't. So yes, it is important to know where y-intercepts come from in standard equations and all that. However, it is safer to just plug in zero and it really doesn't take you more time. So don't get cocky, know that they're gonna do this, plan ahead and just take a second to plug the point in and make sure that you're not falling for a trap.